Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back. Today I have an eyeshadow palette declutter. So I'm going to be sitting down with you guys and sharing the palettes that are leaving my collection. I don't always film an intro to these, but I did want to for this video. I'm going to put a timestamp up if you're like, I don't care about the intro. Let's go ahead and declutter. The timestamp will be up here as well as in the description box down below. But I wanted to make an intro to warn you guys that this is not going to be the most intense cutthroat declutter you have ever seen. So just go into it with that in mind. I know sometimes we see some very impressive declutters where people get rid of 50% of their collection. And let me tell you, I love watching videos like that. It's so satisfying. But that's not what this is going to be. I keep my palette collection very small and curated already, so I just don't have enough that I need to declutter at once to do a significant declutter like that. So the number that I'll be getting rid of is not going to be super high, but I still wanted to sit down and share it with you guys. I did just declutter two palettes pretty recently in a declutter video, so I'll leave that video linked down below. That wasn't a sit down declutter like this. It was a declutter where like I just tell you guys what I was getting rid of. So just know I recently got rid of two. I have a few others that are going to be leaving my collection. And the reason that I wanted to film this was because as you guys know, I set a challenging goal for myself to only buy three palettes in 2018. And so far I have stuck to my goal. But when I made that goal for myself in January, my channel was a lot smaller than it is now. Not that my channel is huge by any means, but at that time I really was not receiving any PR or I didn't receive very much PR and so I, I did not anticipate that I would be sent palettes throughout the year and I actually received a handful of palettes this year from different brands so of course I'm so appreciative whenever a brand believes in me and wants to send me something to review and I love reviewing products for you guys so I like having these to review but sometimes if it wasn't something that I felt like I needed and it's not a palette that adds value. I like to declutter it so I can pass it on to someone else who could use it and make the most of it. So I want to make that distinction. I'm not not grateful for these products, but I still I love having a small curated collection so I can use what I have and make the most of it. So that's why I wanted to sit down today and get rid of a few things if I can. So that was a long introduction, so let's go ahead now and hop into the declutter clips. All right, so I tried to fit as many of these into frame as I could. And the lighting is a little bit dark, but it's the best that I could do with the camera that I have because my lens is just like naturally kind of zoomed in, which affects this a little bit. So I wanted to lay everything out so that I could kind of do this in a different way and first pick out the ones that I'm for sure like, yeah, I need to keep that and then break it down. So the first ones that are like standing out to me, yeah, I need to keep Modern Renaissance. <laughs> Yeah, I need to keep subculture. I couldn't, like these are two of my favorites. So those are for sure staying. Along with the Naked One palette. Now, I know that this is not the best ever. There's way better quality, but just the nostalgia factor behind it and the fact that this is discontinued or whatever's gonna be happening with it, I wanna keep this one. I also wanna keep all of my Blush Tribe palettes. So I have the Hasina palette, which is a favorite of mine. I also have the Malika palette that I want to hold on to, and then you know I love my Blossom. I also need to keep both of my Juvia's Place palettes, so this is the Deuce palette, and this is the Masquerade, again, two of my absolute favorites. And then my three self-made palettes I'm going to be keeping as well, actually no, I have four. So this is just a mini one with some shadows. This has my reds in it. Purples and blues, and then greens and yellows. Now, everything that I've put in the keep pile so far, those are all of my ones that I have like such a strong attachment to that I will not declutter. But this is the pile of stuff that I really need to think about. So to balance this declutter out, I'm going to start off decluttering one of these. I think it's going to be the Troublemaker. So this is the Troublemaker palette from Urban Decay. I've been debating decluttering this for a little while and I've been trying to hold on to it because I do like it and these three shades down here are a lot of fun and they're unique but I don't use this enough to hold on to it when I could be passing it on to a friend who would use it more. So I'm going to declutter that one. I'm also going to declutter this palette from Butter London. This is the Glitz and Glamour Clutch. 
I was keeping this for a while because I don't have a lot of purple shades and I like the purples in this but now I feel like I have some more purples and cool tones scattered throughout and these aren't even like my favorite purples. I was just holding on to it because it's purple but I don't really use it so I'm going to declutter it. I also, I can't believe I'm getting rid of this, but I want to get rid of the Natural Matte Palette from Too Faced. Now, I've been holding on to this because it's so pretty and it is the most beautiful packaging, but since I did my review of this, this one was sent to me in PR, uh, so was Troublemaker. Since I've done my review of this, I don't think I've even used it once and it's, it's so pretty that I want someone else to use it and love it because I am not. So. It pains me because I, it's so pretty, but it's just so basic and I have these colors, so I'm gonna pass it on. Okay, so I'm gonna pick another one to keep. I'm going to keep the Elements palette from Urban Decay. I'll be honest with you guys, I don't see myself keeping this palette forever. I'm sure it's one I'll declutter a year or two from now, but I'm having fun with it right now, so I wanna keep it. And let me pick one more to keep. This is the ColourPop Yes Please. I definitely wanna keep this one. It, some of the shades are pretty basic, but I like the bright pops of color, and it's nice for me to have this w because I have a channel, and I know a lot of people have it, so I can use it for a comparison, uh, for tutorials, so I'm definitely keeping this. Okay, I need to declutter another one, so I think I'm going to get rid of my Artist Palette from Koki. This is the Utopia Palette. I've been holding on to this because it's so affordable, and I've been keeping it just because I have a YouTube channel. It's $15. And for the price, you can definitely make it work. It's not the best quality in the world, but it's not bad for the price. So I've been keeping it, thinking like, oh, maybe I'll do an affordable Friday with it. Maybe I'll do a drugstore tutorial. But I never reach for this if I'm just doing my makeup not for YouTube. And I don't really see myself ever doing a video with this, so I should just go ahead and declutter it. So I'm going to pass this on. Even though I love the color story, like, it's cool but I just don't use it. Okay, I'm gonna pick one more to keep and that's gonna be ooh, the Born to Run palette from Urban Decay. I do really enjoy this. It's not my favorite ever. I feel like a lot of the colors I have, but I, I'm not ready to get rid of it, so I'm gonna keep that one. Okay, I wanna pick one more to declutter, so I'm gonna get rid of the Petite Heat from Urban Decay. This I like. This I've been wanting to keep because I'm like, oh, it's cute and small and fun for travel. But this is another palette that after I did my review of this, because this was sent to me in PR, I hardly ever reached for it. And I've had this for a while, so I like the quality of it. And I have friends who have smaller makeup collections that would probably use this every day, would probably hit pan on it. So I'm going to pass it on to one of them so they can make the most of it, because I am not. Okay, I'm picking one more to keep. I'm keeping the Cool Down palette from Studio Makeup. For a while, I thought I might declutter this, but I'm actually wearing it today. You don't see me because I'm off camera, but I have this on my eyes, and I don't have a ton of cool tone palettes that are like cool tone neutrals. Like I have cool tone blues and purples and stuff, but I don't really have these like gray taupey shadows in many other palettes. So I'm gonna get rid of this. Or wait, I said that backwards, I'm keeping that. What I'm going to get rid of is this one. Now, I thought about keeping this, but I don't think I need to keep both of these because what I use this palette for is these shades right here, which I basically have in the cool down palette. If I haven't said the name of this, this is from Catrice. It's their modern matte palette. And for the price, I do like this. I think they're good mattes. So I recommend it if you need these cool tone shades. And that's why I've been holding on to it thinking, oh, maybe I'll use it in an affordable Friday video. Maybe I'll do a tutorial with it. I have not done that yet. So I just need to go ahead and pass it on. I need to pick, I'm going to pick one more to keep for sure. I'm going to keep the Toasted Palette from Tarte. I don't love this, but it was a gift for my best friend, so I feel like I want to keep it for that. It's just like special to me, so I'm going to keep it. And then, I have been thinking about this for a while, and I can't believe I'm going to do this, but I think I'm going to declutter my Naked too. This feels so weird, so wrong, because this was my first ever high-end palette, but I don't use this anymore. And it's another one that I hold on to thinking, maybe I'll use it in a video, but I'm not going to. And it's, I've had it for so long. I'm just, this feels so weird, but I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to declutter that one. And now my Violet Boss palette. This was a collab with Laura Lee from a few years back. 
Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. In the next year or two, I will probably declutter this, but I'm not ready to do it yet. I'm still like enjoying a few of these shades, and I did use it in my project pan. I got a lot of use out of it, so even though I don't think I'm going to be keeping it forever, I want to hold on to it for just a little bit longer. So as I said in the intro, this it was not intended to be the most hardcore, impressive declutter ever, but I did get rid of a decent amount. I'm getting rid of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven palettes. So those are all leaving my collection. I'm just gonna briefly show you guys the ones that I'm keeping. I won't like name them all because you've seen them. Now, don't get me wrong. There are a few in the keeping pile that maybe I could have decluttered, gotten rid of. And there are a few that I will probably get rid of in the next year or so, but I'm just not ready yet and I don't want to declutter something just for the sake of a video and to declutter it. So I'm going to keep them. I try to make use out of things that I have and just work with them when I can. So that's what I'm going to try and do for a few of these over the next year or so and then decide from there whether or not they should stay. So I ended up keeping 18 and I would say that's a pretty good number for me. I don't really want my collection to go too far over 20, so if I can kind of stick in this range, that's a place where I feel comfortable, where I feel like I can rotate through and use them and not really be wasting anything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know so many people love watching declutters, so thank you guys so much for watching. I do apologize if the lighting was a little funky. I do have my ring light and my umbrella out here, but it's still difficult to film at this angle. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed seeing declutter, so if you enjoyed this and you like seeing declutters, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.